Hello. Hello. Yes, so my video works okay, I hope. Just a moment. So how? Okay. Uh, ah, yes, yes. Now, but uh, it's small. I need uh, to improve somehow my camera. But how, how to? Ah, okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, uh, camera, I will so, so, so like this. Uh, how to do it? Okay. Ah, it's <laughs> nothing. Okay, uh, how about the camera? Oh, sorry. Don't worry. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, you can see me now at least. Perfect. So, uh, not now, you. Camera. Just a minute. So, oh, okay, in this way. So, this is without camera, this is with camera. Okay. Oh, this is with ca uh, uh, this with camera. It's perfect like this, actually. Ah, uh, this is okay. Okay, yeah, it's so perfect. okay, if it's perfect, okay, so <laughs> I can do it without camera. Okay, so hello, so uh, wish you a nice new year. Thank you so much, and to you. So I just uh, finished my streams. So I know that uh, I know results. So I follow it for, uh, last uh, four rounds. So, and what did you make of the tournament? Sorry. What did you think? What are you happy for MVL? What did you think of the play, of the quality of different players? Okay, I didn't follow from uh, day uh, uh, f uh, from first day. Okay, my congratulations for to Maxim, of course. Uh, I predicted his victory. So uh, 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 for round before the end, okay, uh, somebody from spectator showed me situation. And at the moment, uh, Dubov was leading, but my prediction, you know, Maxim will win. Okay. That's a very impressive prediction, actually. Okay, uh, not so difficult because he's a very strong player. And why uh, were you not playing yourself? Okay, I am afraid to travel, so, so it's not a question why I'm not playing because I'm not traveling at all. So my only activity is around uh, a house to go to the shop to go to the uh, work and. Okay, uh, and online I'm playing uh, sometimes and now also streaming as you see. Well, I was going to ask you about that. You recently, how, when you started streaming, I think during the match, like just before the match? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, in Nova in end of November, uh, yes, uh, I started uh, with match, yes. And how did you decide to start streaming? What what inspired you? Okay, my uh, wife forced me to do it. <laughs> did she help you to set up all the? Yes. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, she and uh, some other people uh, helped me. Yes, of, because uh, technically I'm not uh, such a well prepared like in. Uh, Open in theory, for example. <laughs> and now you've been streaming for just a little over one month. How are you enjoying it so far? Okay, it's uh, still experiment for me, but okay, it's funny. Okay, funny things. I have uh, a lot of followers, and uh, usually uh, during each uh, stream, I have uh, some interesting question which. I need to think what uh, to uh, to answer. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. We will certainly make sure that everyone here uh, goes to to follow you. Um, you have sent me a game, so we're gonna go through one of your games. Actually, let me just set it up. Are you logged in uh, on chess.com? Uh, yes. Uh, so I need to go to chess.com. Right? Yeah. Let me just find out chat for one second. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry. Okay. So yeah, if you can log into chess.com and I will invite you one more time. Okay, so I will try to come to chess.com. Uh, 
this. Login. I'm trying to login. Yes. So, yes. Okay. And. Enter, yes. J j just a moment. Uh, yes, I entered. Okay, so now you should have received an invitation from me. Invitation, uh, okay. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know where is invitation. Happy? No, no, it's not happy. Bills. Where is in uh, from friends or what? Uh, uh, no, or, it should actually truth in the chat if you can help me out. Uh, I, uh, yes. Vicky, uh, hey, uh, Chucky. No, no, it's no, not. This is not me. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me. It should be when you're in in the play zone, I think. Yeah. Well. If you are in the play zone, if you go to chess.com uh, live slash live. Live? Yeah. Uh, uh, but, but, but where is uh, live? Ah, uh, 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 ah, live. Uh -huh. uh, uh, ah, chess live. You yeah. Mean. Uh, no, sorry. Let I will just send you the link on, on Skype one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, please. I think if you just go here. Or maybe actually, if maybe you can just come to the game. I don't know. Aha. Uh -huh. Just a moment. Skype. Uh, chat. Aha. Uh -huh. Play live chess. Yes. So. Yes. 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 Do you have an invitation there somewhere? Uh. uh okay. Uh. So I just. Uh, it, it looks like uh, I'm ready to play three. Uh, three minute game. Okay, let me send you one more link to see what happens if you just come to the game. Sorry about that. Okay, I sent you one more link. This should take you to the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a moment. So, okay, this. Okay. Ah, Katsuki Gata. Yes, yes, yes. I see. Okay. So, uh -huh. so yes, yes, I see the game. So and you I'll... can make a move, right? Yes, 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 yes. I can. Yes, uh, Bishop. Oops, sorry. Let me. Yes. Ah, yes. So Fiona. Yes, yes, yes. I just need uh, to fix one thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, sorry. Give me one second, and I'm ready. Okay, okay. I'm not hurry at all. Okay. Wait, it's a, one second. I just need to do this better. <laughs> the streaming, it's not easy. I've been streaming for so long and still sometimes it's a struggle. Okay, okay I understand. <laughs> okay, I think we're almost there. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so should I uh, comment? Yes. Yes, please. If you can just talk us. Uh... Okay, so it was my uh, uh, Linares in nineteen, uh, my third Linares already in nineteen ninety one, which was uh, 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 finished with big success. So and uh, my second game against Gata. Uh, so. Um, I decide to play uh, martial attack. He played the principal, he took the pawn, d4, bishop, d6, and now he played rook e2. Of, of course, uh, main move here is rook e1, uh, and uh, queen h4, g3, queen h3, and now uh, if compare with rook e2, so uh, now main move is bishop e3, uh, another option is rook e4, after rook e4, the strongest move for black is g5, not possible to take because uh, uh, queen f5 and uh, there is a lot of theory. Maybe after. we can actually show those, maybe we can show one of these lines. So g5, you said it's not possible to take. 
Yes, because queen f5, double attack, uh, and white losing material. Mm -hmm. So after g5, uh, white uh, usually playing, okay, there are many moves. So knight d2 is possible, queen e2 is possible, queen f1 is possible, so a lot of theory. Mm -hmm. But uh, if compare, uh, so another move after queen h3, is possible bishop e3, very popular move, and now bishop g4, queen d3, rook a e8, knight bd2, queen h5. This is the main theoretical position. Many, many games was played. Uh, firstly, probably it was played in highest level in much uh, uh, Spassky against Stahl in uh, uh, 67 or something like this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, very old theory, many interesting games, of course. For example, uh, Queen H5, ah, Spassky uh, himself played Rook A6, uh, and only after A4, Queen H5. And while you were playing this game, you were familiar with these games, yes? With these Spassky uh, games. Yes, yes, of course, I'm familiar with uh, chess history. But uh, after rook e6, white has a very interesting alternative, which demonstrated Kramnik against Aronian. Queen f1, and after queen h5, f3. Mm -hmm. And idea is if knight takes f3, white can calmly play uh, queen f2, and after knight d5, uh, takes takes uh, this position slightly better for white after queen f3. So something like this is modern theory. Uh, because of this, uh, queen h5, and only after a4, rook, uh, uh, now rook a6 is uh, modern theory. If, uh, for example, after queen h5, white starts, uh, 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 I mean here, after if white starts with this, rook e7 now, more precise, play better leko. But okay, it's uh, another story, but uh, I won't just explain that uh, with rook on e1 here, it's not possible to play knight d2, because after bishop g4, white cannot play f3, because bishop takes g3. And okay, knight f3, queen h5, obviously is bad for white. So knight d4 is not the move. Uh, and idea of rook e2, uh, uh, so uh, rook uh, not so natural here like uh, as on e1, but idea is if black uh, uh, using the standard method, g3, queen h3, white has knight d2. Mm -hmm. And now after bishop g4, there is f3. Mm -hmm. And now bishop takes g3 doesn't work because takes takes and rook g2. Very simple refutation. So if uh, black plays queen h5, white can play knight d2 anyway. This idea, bishop uh, if bishop g4, f3 is possible. And white giving back the pawn, but position uh, here it's better because white has two bishops, so they can play. Uh, queen f1, for example, or firstly, bishop d2 is possible, this idea to play uh, queen f1 on next move. So, okay, bishop d2 is the most natural move. So uh, this, this is point of uh, uh, rook e2 to have knight d2 after queen h4, g3, queen h5, or or queen uh, h3. Uh, if here bishop h3, it's possible as well, because now knight e4 obviously is blunder because queen f3, but white can play f3 anyway, with idea to prepare knight e4. Mm -hmm. If rook e8, for example, uh, takes here, and knight e4 is possible, because uh, queen is protected by bishop. So uh, after rook e2, probably queen h4 is not the best move. Okay, I uh, don't know what is modern theory. I didn't check. Uh, so okay, there are many interesting moves. For example, bishop f5 looks logical. And, uh, maybe some other moves is possible. But I played bishop g4. So I uh, remember it in this time. Uh, I have seen games uh, bishop g4 and after f3 bishop h5 was played by Czech uh, grandmaster Pavel Blatny. Mm -hmm. And I liked this idea and uh, decided to repeat. Okay, but frankly speaking, uh, now 
uh, I'm not sure if that this is a good idea for black at all. Uh, so much more natural looks uh, bishop f5. This is, looks much more natural because now after knight d2, knight f4, it's pretty unpleasant for white. For example, after rook e3, queen g5 is possible. Probably even this is possible. Actually, can I just ask you a question? So this game was played which year again? Just remind me. Uh, 1991. Uh, okay, so about this I'm not right because king h1, if queen takes e3, knight e4 is coming. So this is my mistake. But okay, after rook e3, queen g5 is possible and looks pretty unpleasant for white because if queen f1 so if this probably it's only draw i'm not sure but uh, probably yeah, very messy knight f4 this 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 is draw but 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 okay uh, it looks like uh, black uh, can just take g2 and this is winning so mm -hmm. so uh, here allow knight f4 it's extremely dangerous and uh, just bad so after bishop f5 uh, more logical to do something else for white for example bishop d5 is possible if c takes d5 bishop uh, E3, but uh, here uh, black can provoke some weakness uh, if, uh, for example, h3, black can utilize it. For example, this, if this, uh, bishop d3, and after rook e1, bishop h2, intermediate check, and bishop g3, and uh, white is losing exchange. So in such primitive uh, way, white cannot play. So after bishop f5, I don't know what uh, is the recommendation of modern theory. Probably a4 can be considered now like uh, option for white. Or now can be considered bishop takes d5 and knight d2. This idea to transfer knight to f1 for defend or to b3 depends how black play. Oh, if queen c7, for example, knight f1 is possible to protect this flank and uh, try to finish development with bishop e3, bishop f2, something like this. Mm -hmm. So I played bishop h5 and now... Actually, uh, Vasil, can I just stop you one second? Because you're talking about modern theory and of course these days with computers, things are changing so fast, but this game was played in 92, kind of before... 91. 91. Uh, sorry, 91, sort of before the computer time. So at the time, how were you preparing for your games? Okay, uh, totally same like now. I am just analyzing, but uh, that time I uh, spent more time... Uh, 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 Mm, uh, mostly analyze it with pieces, with board. Uh, now I'm mostly analyzing during my walking. Oh, during the walking in your head. Yes. So, uh, so lines which I want to demonstrate, uh, I uh, didn't check uh, with Stockfish, uh, with any computer, even with pieces. So this is just wow. imagination from my head. So I played Bishop H5, and uh, this position I analyze it. Uh, I mean, during this day, uh, today, because uh, mm -hmm. you asked me uh, to choose the game, so I started to think, okay, this was quite interesting game, I will explain, so what is opening, I played bishop h5, so what is this, and uh, okay, uh, now Gata played bishop takes d5, so uh, what can I say about this move, so bishop takes d5, it's very big concession for white uh, in Marshall, so just exchange bishop against knight without concrete reason, it's uh, it's uh, not good. But uh, sometimes there are concrete reasons. For example, there is variation. After c6, take here, play d4, and after bishop d6 to play rook e3. Uh, there is this line, but okay, uh, now idea is... Uh, uh, with knight on d5, white cannot put the rook on h3. So this is concrete reason. If queen h4, h3 is idea. And if queen f4, rook e5, this is idea. It's, uh, many games was played also. Tal played this. Uh, so, so this is concrete reason. But uh, now, uh, after bishop g4 and bishop h5, uh, 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 during my analysis, uh, 
in the park, uh, I was worried. So why bishop takes d5? Why not uh, 92? And uh, uh, okay, I explained that if bishop on f5, knight d2 is uh, extremely dangerous because knight f4. But with bishop on h5, it's a, a different story. In, in my opinion, the best for why is play knight d2 here without taking on d5. And uh, white has same plan, so knight e4, uh, knight f1, if it will be necessary. Uh, so, uh, and if black plays f5, okay, white can uh, do uh, uh, knight f1, for example, to prepare knight g3 or knight e3. If f4, white can come back, knight d2 and play knight e4 and... Uh, and hardly uh, black has uh, good compensation here. So only reason what was uh, what uh, uh, Gata could be worried about is knight f4 after knight d2. Because for example, queen c7 is possible, but okay, white can play even knight f1, even if he wants, uh, he can take here because uh, black cannot take uh, here, they are losing the piece. But okay, no reason uh, to take uh, uh, after bishop takes d5, c takes d5, it's the best. Uh, uh, but um, knight f1 is much more natural and, uh, to prepare bishop d2. So knight f4 is, looks like principal reaction and uh, it looks uh, dangerous somehow for white, but actually it, it's not so dangerous because rook e4 is strong move. Other move with rook, it's uh, hardly good because uh, if rook is 3 queen g5, something like this, it's... Uh, so rook e4, uh, if rook e1, rook f2, knight d3 is coming, so rook e4 is correct move, and now uh, white is ready for knight f1 to attack my knight. So bishop g6 looks like the most natural move to attack the rook, but the problem is that the rook is not actually attacked strong. Uh, because, uh, okay, so of course if white uh, goes somewhere with rook, it will be a big problem for them. But uh, white can just ignore it, this because white has uh, pawn up and after taking exchange, pawn against exchange with very strong bishop b3 will be good compensation. Only question how to play. So I started to think. Uh, my, my first idea was queen f1. And uh, if uh, black automatically take, f takes e4 looks very promising for white because e5 is threat, knight f3, it's coming, so it's good. But uh, after queen f1, I'm not so sure about c5. So black uh, not, uh, not necessary to take immediately. If, for example, g3, knight e6, if d5, c4, this idea bishop c5 check, so this is far from clear. Uh, so if uh, after bishop g6, uh, white playing g3, okay, now knight d3 is possible uh, immediately without taking, uh, and uh, black uh, still have uh, some initiative. Also, after rook e3, situation still not so clear because white is ready to knight e4. Also, it's possible to take here. Because now if knight e4, knight d5, okay, queen d3 and then bishop d2, rook e1, white has good compensation, but uh, I'm not sure that this is advantage for white. Uh, mm, or if uh, f takes e3, this advantage that knight d3, that uh, black can take bishop, and so white losing two bishops advantage, so something like this also. So, however promising for uh, knight e4, I mean knight takes c1, rook takes c1, also promising for white, but the uh, situation is not totally clear. So I'm not sure, but uh, I like uh, after bishop g6, knight f1 move. Looks like modest, but knight is attacked and black is forced to take more or less. So, and after takes, takes, uh, e5 is threat, so black need to go back and uh, after e5 or bishop e3, White has uh, excellent position, much better than in the game. So knight d2, I think, was much stronger than what Gata played. So he, he took. 
Yes, he took, and now C takes D5. But now, uh, in my opinion, uh, he played knight D2. Now, more logical was to play bishop E3. Because uh, after knight D2, uh, his bishop is still un uh, undeveloped. After bishop E3, white has time to prepare knight D2, knight F1. Or knight D2, knight B3, depends uh, what black doing. Uh, okay, queen H4, it uh, could be reason which uh, was worried Gata. But uh, okay, after queen H4, of course, H3 is uh, terrible because queen G3 is coming and queen H2, it's extremely unfair. Peasant, but okay, g3 is much better. Uh, take on g3 not possible because rook g2. So queen f6 looks like logical. And uh, black is attacking pawn. Obviously, I cannot defend this pawn because after rook f2, rook e8, uh, it's a big problem. So uh, after queen f6, white uh, need uh, uh, to play knight d2. And now if, uh, for example, rook e8, white can defend pawn queen f1 with solid position. And uh, if a black take pawn immediately, okay, now uh, black took pawn the back, uh, and uh, it uh, can be illusion that black is even slightly better because uh, his bishop is more active than uh, white ones, but it's only illusion because white can play immediately queen f1. And now, what to do with black? If not uh, take uh, queen e4 is obviously bad because b uh, bishop uh, uh, f4. So if uh, to play queen g4 or queen h5, white has a simple plan: rook a e1, and then bishop f4 is coming. So mm -hmm. certainly white cannot be worse here. Uh, yeah. So only logical move is to take, but white is taking and preparing bishop f4. And also uh, what is important that this structure gives uh, contraplay uh, with a4. For example, uh, after rook fe8, in my opinion, a4 is the best. Start to contraplay in the queen side and position is totally equal. Mm -hmm. But uh, interesting moment that, for example, here if play natural move, uh, it's, uh, this pawn endgame can be uh, dangerous for white in my opinion. Uh, okay, rook takes e8 immediately probably losing because uh, uh, three pawns uh, against uh, four pawns and uh, in king, queen's plan and in, in king's plan, uh, black is much better, but uh, uh, here, this uh, this is position dangerous for white. So, for example, if rook e5, black is just taken and playing king e7, king e6 first. Day. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure that this is losing, but uh, this position is uh, dangerous for white. But after a4, I think uh, white has uh, no problem because uh, in any moment that they can play bishop f4 and he uh, has uh, strong contraplay in queen side. So, so after bishop e3, white can play without special risk. So after knight d2, I realized my idea that I, I, I played f5. So this was reason uh, of bishop h5. So now I have f5 and now... Uh, uh, white need to do something with his knight. And if uh, play knight b3, I can try to attack with uh, queen c7 or queen h4 probably, g3, queen h3. So try to make some threats here. Oh, for example, this, this, this. It looks like logical. And then f4 is coming in some moment. So... Uh, and after knight f1, I can play f4, and uh, white still has problem with his knight. But uh, I don't know what was uh, better now. Probably flexible move a4 was uh, logical with idea to to do something with rook on a1 and uh, and, uh, and uh, to leave uh, two squares for knight f1 or b3. But he played queen b3, and now after bishop f7, it's uh, it's important that uh, 
Bisrisk were occupied by uh, b- by a queen, and White has a big problem with knight. Mm-hmm. And uh, but if big problem with knight, it it seems that big problem with bishop c1 too, because knight on d2 not allow bishop to develop. Now if a4, I can calmly play queen d7, and uh, without b3 square, for knight White can do any activity in queen's flank so you think so you here, think here, but, here you were already better how did you yes, feel during the game yes yes here so uh, certainly bishop takes d5 was mistake and uh, and uh, knight d2 was not the best um, so sari and queen b3 is so uh, so he made uh, three um, uh, wired uh, moves in a row and mm-hmm. now surely that only black can be better mm-hmm. because uh, terrible position of uh, knight okay probably now uh, uh, white could think about this idea this is possible mm-hmm. so very concrete idea if bishop takes a four knight f3 if rook e8 maybe even this is possible so wow. So this is uh, maybe not so clear, and then knight f3 somehow, or, or, or even takes here and play knight f3 to prepare bishop d2 and uh, rook e1, so, so this was principal idea f4, so, but he played knight f1, it's, and after f4, now it's... Uh, everything under control. Of course, if uh, he will try h3, knight h2, I will uh, play h5. Mm-hmm. Stop uh, the knight from coming to yes, the e4. Yes, yes. But he played this, queen d7. Now probably a4 was uh, the best uh, plan for him uh, not allow me a5, a4. But he played this, and after a5, I gained even more space in queen's uh, flank. So a3, a4, queen d1, bishop g6. Now bishop d3 is threat somewhere, so bishop c1, rook f7. So uh, it's important that b3 square now in, under my control. So knight uh, is uh, totally out of play. If h3, knight h2, I will block h5. So he played h3, knight h2, h5. But okay, uh, uh, still not easy to break this position if uh, white will just wait. So he is just waiting. I'm just waiting too. But uh, now probably the best idea for white. Actually, can I ask you, what is the idea? Because I think for a lot of our viewers, in- including myself, a move like king h8 is not so easy to understand. What what's, was the idea? Okay, uh, frankly sp- speaking, I don't know what is the idea. Probably in some variation like this, uh, something like this. Uh, my idea was that uh, somewhere white cannot take on d5 with check. Okay. So, so something like this. But uh, but okay, this is just waiting move, actually. So I, uh, I didn't feel that I'm ready for g5 immediately. So, okay, I understand that my position is strong. My opponent has no uh, good plan, so I can uh, uh, j- just play moves which uh, not spoil my position. So I played king h8, but okay, it's a big question if uh, uh, I have real winning chances if white is just waiting, so playing some moves like king h1, king g1, something like this. So somewhere, okay, I can think about g5, g4, but okay, after g5, g4, many pieces will be changed. So I can think about uh, transfer my bishop to h4, but uh, if uh, I will leave uh, d6 square, white will have uh, e5 uh, for his rook. So probably white could just wait here and make draw at least... Uh, uh, quite difficult to win this position. Mm-hmm. But he played b3, and uh, strange moments that he is doing this uh, with uh, knight on h2, and now, okay, now I have some targets in queen's flank too, so I immediately played rook c8 and king h7. So waiting. I don't know why king h7, so what? Uh, okay, maybe. Uh, 
I could play rook f f8 immediately. Maybe it would more precise even. So probably this is more precise an idea, like in the game, rook c7 and another rook and prepare rook takes c3. And I don't know why I played king h7, frankly speaking, but I played this. So king h7, now I played this. So knight h2 again, so very strange move. So uh, because uh, I'm planning some ideas, rook c8, rook c3, it's more logical to uh, to have knights near queen's flank. So knight h2 is more logical to play if black pushing c5. But, so this is strange. But okay, he's just waiting. Mm -hmm. So uh, knight f1 and now b4. Wow. And now uh, my idea, if c takes b4, I have bishop c2 and a is b3. And, uh, Can we have by... a look at that maybe quickly? So if c takes? Yes, yes, maybe he overlooked this. So better for him was to not play b3. So I don't know if he could defend uh, against it successfully. So it's, uh, okay, necessary more analyze, but because... Uh, 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 the point, if c takes b4, bishop c2 is possible, and then I will take with pawn. And position uh, quite unpleasant, and still problem with uh, knight. And so he played a b and a3, and now it's obviously if bishop a1, rook takes c3, and uh, total domination, so in style of Magnus Carlsen. He took here, rook takes c3, and now, okay, it's, uh, two pawns uh, are not important, uh, and uh, my pieces is much more active than uh, his ones, so king h2, and now it's very big advantage for black, so rook a8, rook d3, queen c1, rook c8, rook c2 takes, takes, bishop g6, calm move. So, rook takes f3, uh, uh, immediately I calculated, but queen d1. This is the problem. Okay. My, my pawn is hanging. So not queen e2, because rook takes h3 and f3, but mm -hmm. queen d1, and then uh, queen takes h5 is coming, and yeah. rook e8. So, bishop g6, idea, uh, now rook takes f3, it's a very big threat, and now I am ready to take some pawns, too. So position of white is totally collapsed. Yeah. Rook D1. So where do you uh, think was the final mistake? Do you think it was B3 or maybe, maybe, but okay, it's uh, not so easy to prove it. But B3, uh, of course, it's uh, give me more targets. Uh, so uh, if uh, imagine that he is not playing B3, it's much more difficult to create something. Probably also there are promising plans for playing for win, but uh, much more difficult. Mm -hmm. Because now, okay, uh, I penetrate in first rank and uh, all white pieces, okay, uh, all white minor pieces are in very ugly positions. So only rook and queen can play, so position is hopeless. Rook b1, important not allow something like rook e1, queen takes e1. So if rook e1, queen takes e1, white has good chances to build a uh, fortress, mm -hmm. but rook d1, so mm, rook g5, queen c6, total domination, rook e5, queen c2, so after exchange of queens, bishop is uh, losing, so rook h5, okay, but uh, it was not a surprise for me, and queen c6, calm move, uh, not allow perpetual check, and okay, now white uh, uh, still have two pieces which are not playing. Queen takes f4, never possible because bishop d6. So this, 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 and he resigned. So such a game. So, and uh, okay, interesting game, instructive, and also has some meaning for theory. But uh, okay, I think uh, probably bishop g4, bishop h5, and not the best plan, but surely white should play knight d2 immediately if they want to fight for advantage. Very interesting game. For Without sure. bishop takes d5. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing it to us, Vasil. Actually, I have a question for you towards the end. You know, you were saying this position is a uh, complete domination, and I'm sure you felt at the time that it was winning. But how do you have any advice, maybe also for our viewers, 
when you have a, a winning position, because I always feel that winning uh, one position is so hard. How do you, uh, do you have some advice for how to keep control of a winning position and how to, um, yeah, how to convert basically? Okay, but uh, uh, it's uh, it's very difficult. For example, if you see uh, my games entitled Tuesday, so especially my game against Baba Zada, so uh, you will have against Baba Zada I played entitled Tuesday. So when I lost totally winning position, and uh, by this game I lost chances to have prizes. Mm -hmm. So you will understand that I am not expert to play in winning position. But okay, it's time control three plus one. So, uh, but uh, this is different that in Linares was classical time control. And uh, in some moment, okay, I could uh, calm myself. I could, uh, I wasn't in my trouble. So, but okay, if you have uh, one minute extra, so everything is possible. Well, actually, let's talk about. So you play uh, quite a lot online, I think. No, no, not quite a lot. So uh, sometimes, okay. Oh. Title Tuesday, I don't like because I cannot earn any prize there. So. What is your favorite time control when you play online, or do you like playing uh, some variants of chess, or what do you like to play? Okay, I played uh, Legend Chess uh, 15 plus uh, uh, 10, uh, and then Chess uh, Online Olympiad, I played uh, uh, 15 plus 5, so it's interesting time control. If I play Blitz, 3 plus 2 is totally okay for me. Okay. But so 3 plus 1, it's, uh, it's a it's little tough. bit, uh, uh, yes, bit yes. Fast. I think I will now, well, if the viewers, because during the game there was not so, if any of the viewers have any questions for Vasil, now is the time uh, to ask them. Mm, and, okay. And Vasil, actually at the start when you joined already, uh, my good friend Dan, he was asking if you can tell us uh, about that story in 2016 in Doha at the World Rapid and Blitz when you were playing this checkers uh, against Jovava. Yes, but uh, okay, everybody had uh, have seen this story, so everything it's possible to see in video, and I hardly can add something important. <laughs> Do you still play checkers? Yes, yes, I still play for fun. Oh, oh, I'm not strong, but I like to play, and uh, I played this... Uh, uh, yesterday and before yesterday, two tournaments. One uh, tournament uh, was played uh, uh, checkers 64 mm -hmm. and uh, I gained plus two. And the uh, second one, I was very close uh, to plus two again, but uh, suddenly I, uh, in winning position, I didn't make a move and uh, and lost by time, so so I finished it in fifty percent, and uh, instead of uh, plus two, and again uh, this showed me that I am uh, not expert how to win winning position. <laughs> Do you think it's something that can be worked on? Yes, okay, uh, it's a psychological consideration, okay, so, so uh, sometimes uh, strange things uh, there are in my games, but I don't know who is expert in this topic, okay, probably Magnus, okay, probably, I don't know who else. Uh, Okay, uh, of course, some, uh, somehow it's possible to work, uh, but uh, I think it's more uh, more psychological work. It's not uh, it's just chess or drafts problem. This mm -hmm. is because something happened with concentration and uh, incredible blunder became possible. Actually, talking about psychology, I think it's very... Or blunder or, blunder or uh, very often uh, happen that I'm just... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think uh, and uh, totally f forgetting about time and losing my time. It's not blunder in the board, but it's uh, also total collapse of concentration. 
I think it's very interesting, this aspect of psychology. Um, do you ever, ha have you ever talked to, let's say, a sports psychologist, or have you ever tried to do anything to, to improve this psychological aspect? Mm, okay, uh, I did some kind of meditation, some sports, but uh, during last time I became lazy because I'm not playing the tournament. From New Year, I will try to improve it. Okay, and uh, actually, well, since you started streaming from the match, it's when I talk about psychology, I have to think about this collapse of Jan Nepomniachtchi in the match against Magnus. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you feel that was mostly down to psychology or how? what was your analysis of, of what happened in the match? Okay, first of all, I analyze, uh, I analyze uh, uh, all games uh, quite deeply and uh, opening. So, okay, something was wrong with uh, preparation, surely. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, okay, uh, so I don't understand... Uh, um, Okay, I understand, for, for example, that Jan decided to play Petrov against E4. Mm -hmm. So this is a possible choice. But uh, uh, everybody knows, uh, and uh, Jan knows as well, that uh, Petrov is hardly acceptable uh, opening if uh, you uh, if you want to play for win against strong players against strong player mm -hmm. so uh, in my opinion was uh, okay even if Jan decided to play Petrov was very logical to prepare another opening uh, in uh, for situation if uh, okay uh, it's not uh, nobody wishes this situation but it's possible that uh, he will have minor score so if uh, he his minor score it's more logical to try to fight not only with white but also with black mm -hmm. so so, and okay, of course, uh, it's not possible uh, to prepare uh, advantage with black in all variation after E4, but uh, at least to have in the board something more complicated. Yeah, and what about uh, the blunders that Jan made, which were very strange? What did, how did you explain? Uh, yes, but uh, okay, uh, I have some strange feeling about this. So uh, I have the feeling that in some moment both players, uh, uh, I don't know why, but lost uh, interest in to, uh, to this match. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not only my idea, it also uh, was idea I have seen stream uh, uh, Rajabov and Karyakin together. They told that, okay, uh, let's start to play Blitz because uh, there is position from March, but this March uh, 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 nobody uh, is interested with, Dutch, uh, with, with this match, include of players. Mm -hmm. So it's a paradoxical thought, but uh, there is something logical. And uh, also uh, very strange feeling that uh, Magnus, uh, according to his interview, uh, uh, didn't feel any happiness uh, after the win. I don't know why. It's also very strange reaction. Yes, so. it was very, very so, so interview of uh, Jan after the match uh, seems to be much more optimistic than interview of Magnus. Yes. So it's very yes. paradoxical. Absolutely. Do you think, do you believe Magnus that when he says that he only wants to defend his title if he will play against someone from the new generation? A new generation now. Okay, so b b before I uh, heard that only if Firuja, now new generation. I think uh, he's, yeah, I, I think he didn't say explicitly Firuja. I think it was just people understood he meant Firuja. I think he said like, I think he talked about new generation, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, but anyway, it looks uh, ex uh, extremely strange for me. So, uh, in my opinion, uh, Magnus, as world champion, uh, need to respect qualification candidates tournament and uh, need to be ready to play against any opponent who will qualify. So, 
because uh, so uh, f for me it's strange that uh, he consider possibility to play for example against Firuja or against Duda and not not play against uh, uh, for example uh, Nipomnyashchi or uh, or Rajabo or uh, who else is playing uh, in candidates uh, Karyakin okay so yeah. so it, it's a very strange position but okay uh, 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 the question how serious is this because this is uh, uh, not contract uh, so he can uh, change his mind probably uh, he is joking probably um, uh, this is uh, some part of uh, political in chess something like this I don't like this but okay it, uh, it exists yeah. uh, so. <laughs> well uh, we will see what happens so here's a question from PlaySmart uh, have you published any books Okay, uh, so my books, uh, okay, uh, uh, about uh, Linares 1991, but it wasn't uh, good quality books. Okay, I annotate some games, but okay, it, uh, it is not a book uh, uh, from which I am proud of. Are you planning to write another one in the future? Okay, maybe, but now I don't know it's, if it's good uh, time for, for publishing books. So probably uh, uh, it's better time now for YouTube canal, for Twitch canal, for something like this. I don't know if, if somebody likes to read books now. Yeah, I don't know. I, f I feel that people are still still buying the books. But yes, I see that you're moving to the, to the online uh, world. Speaking of which, M. Versal is asking, are there any regular times when we can expect to watch you play chess online or streaming? Do you have any like schedule or how do you decide when you uh, stream? No, okay, usually uh, my wife uh, doing, uh, doing announce uh, in the Facebook of my school. Okay, so what is that? What is the name of your school? Okay, in Facebook, uh, so you can write Ivanchuk Chess School in Facebook and uh, to find easily. If not, I will send you link by Skype. Okay, so perfect. Then I can share that with my viewers. And then there was another uh, question. Can you confirm that you are no longer playing competitive chess? Like, is that true or do you still feel that you are still playing competitive chess? Com uh, what is competitive that, chess? That you are playing still in tournaments, and uh, or do you feel that, like you do, do you feel? I think the question is, do you feel that you have kind of retired as a player, or do you uh, think you? No, no, no. Play? I feel that uh, there is problem in the world for traveling. I am afraid. Uh, uh, I am afraid uh, to to have COVID, I afraid to make vaccine, I afraid to make even tests, so this is problem, but uh, okay, if we imagine that uh, this situation is improved, uh, so I would happy to play uh, chess again without any questions, so, it's, so I never had idea to retire from chess. Uh, mm -hmm. so. Well, we for sure we hope the situation will improve because we all want to see you back behind uh, the board. Uh, then there was a question: What was your most from Theo? Uh, what was your most memorable game uh, against Korchnoi? Against Korchnoi, ah, probably uh, the uh, the game which I won in Horgen 90, uh, 1995. It was opening. Uh, uh, it was opening uh, d4, knight f6, mm -hmm. c4 e6. Knight f3, b6, and uh, he played knight c3, I played bishop b7. And, uh, uh, okay, nothing special, but uh, it's strange that in this position, uh, Korchnoi uh, had sinking during half an hour. Wow, half an hour. <laughs> yes, half an hour he was sinking and uh, played uh, g3, Bishop before uh, Bishop uh, D2. Uh, 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 this system became popular uh, much later, mm -hmm. but uh, he played this. So uh, then I utilized this system with White many times. Very interesting. Did you have a, a favorite opponent that you liked to play against? No, 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 no. I don't have. 
favorite opponent, but uh, probably uh, I don't why I don't know why. Uh, so okay, Korchnoi wasn't agree with this. But my idea was that uh, during his preparation, he accept, uh, he uh, understood that uh, after knight c3, I'm usually playing bishop G bishop before immediately. In th in this time, I mean, mm -hmm. and uh, prepared some. I don't know what uh, exactly he prepared. Probably bishop g5. From bishop g5 in that time considered by theory like the most promising line. And uh, he could understand that uh, in that moment I tried to avoid uh, a Petrosian system because after a3 I played uh, bishop a6 in, the, in that time. I mean. mm -hmm. After knight c3, I played bishop before. But uh, during the game, uh, after make, uh, after uh, knight c3, okay, I have understood that uh, Korshtoy played knight c3, okay, so I suppose he is uh, well prepared against bishop before. Uh, but okay, after bishop b7, okay, I have problem with a3. But uh, he told me, uh, because we were working together, he told me that he uh, never playing a3 by principle, because uh, a3 named by Petrosian. So I decided to check. And I played bishop b7, and probably... Uh, my idea is that uh, uh, if uh, Korchnoi is thinking half an hour in this position, so um, I suppose that he has very strong temptation to play a3. <laughs> but, but, but decide to do. But okay, uh, it's uh, interesting that uh, many years ago he. Um, he made such a scene against uh, Gligorich, and he played a3 in this position. <laughs> so he didn't uh, pull it through until the end. Uh, there is another question here, actually. So, uh, okay, so uh, uh, it means uh, if a3, he played against Gligorich, and also uh, it was uh, another game, uh, 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 another game, at least one. Uh, uh, somebody from uh, Switzerland, no, uh, uh, not uh, so famous player, uh, but uh, he played a3 and won very quickly. Uh, so uh, it... Uh, it's a reason to consider Korchnoi like very wise and very flexible person. Absolutely. There is another question here from Kingstar. He's asking about this game in uh, the Intel Grand Prix against Anand, where you missed mate in one in 95. Yes, He's yes, yes. He's asking if you still think about it and if you have nightmares about this sometimes. No, 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 no. M more rememberable story about uh, bishop takes f2 against Nisipiano. <laughs> uh, another, my famous move. Do you have an, any advice for when you have a painful game or something? What do you do after a painful loss? Okay, uh, I have no advice, but only what I can say, I am suffering a lot. Yes. Um, a question from both eyes. Are there other grandma uh, are there other grandmasters who compete in checkers uh, tournaments or in drafts? Mm, uh, uh, so, uh, uh, yes, I played against my, m many grandmasters. Uh, yes, in, in different uh, kind of uh, checkers. So, so I play uh, uh, not only online. Even I, 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 online, I played many games. Uh, uh, in even in Lille, I played games against Grandmaster, and okay, uh, 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 to win against Grandmaster only in Frisian drafts, I won some games, even against uh, world champions, I won. But uh, in the normal, okay, I made uh, several draws, only never win yet. Okay. But in online, I even won some games. Uh, but okay, so nice. It's... And are there other chess? Uh, players who play a lot of drafts? Uh, chess players? No, no, I, I don't know uh, who plays a lot of, uh, of drafts. No, I don't know. At least famous players uh, uh, hasn't no such a hobby. Okay. A question from M. Versal. When you played your bishop back to f1 against Kasparov, 
Uh, was this a real move or was it psychologically motivated? Bishop F1 or in which position? Uh, in Hohen 1995. Hohen 1995. Hohogen or Horgen? Horgen. Uh, so, ah, B Bishop F uh, F8. Uh, so uh, I was black. Ah, it was Bishop F8. Then yes, sorry. Yeah, it was my preparation. So uh, uh, before the tournament, I prepared the slide, especially against Kasparov. Yes. And so my uh, idea point of my preparation, like okay, I understand that the uh, line is objectively dubious, and after I lost uh, against the. Uh, Peter Leko, he won a quite instructive game, but uh, I decide that uh, against Gary it can be quite good type of position because I will not uh, lost uh, by force uh, due to opening preparation. I uh, I can uh, try. Uh, uh, to have close position and uh, and okay in in, uh, in this game it was good uh, decision. Nice. Uh, another question from past my uh, prime. What is your favorite game from the nineteenth century and why? Mm, uh, and uh, okay, I, I I want to remember game. Uh, how uh, it's Portish uh, played this line and uh, he win uh, somehow very 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 quickly but uh, I want to remember how it was uh, so uh, it was something with queen g4 bishop f8 something like bishop g5 Queen D7. So how how Portish won this? Uh, 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 it was very funny, but okay, I remember motive. So uh, motive was something like this. So something like this. And White is losing already. If Queen takes G5, Bishop H6. If another move, uh, H4 is coming. So. Okay. It was a game uh, which Portish won. Uh, okay, not exactly this, but uh, this motif that G5, H5, and White cannot take, uh, and if not take, uh, losing the piece. So, uh, okay, what was another question? Uh, the, the, another question is from uh, Dar Frontier, and he wants to know uh, what you think about preparation with engine these days compared to when you were. Uh, at the start of your career, when you there were no no engines. Okay, I uh, I, I cannot do it. So uh, I'm uh, very occasionally using engines. Uh, so sometimes Komodo, sometimes uh, Stockfish, but uh, uh, in very small portion because uh, I have feelings that uh, uh, okay. Uh, if I will do it more, it will be to total rubbish in my head. Uh, <laughs> so I uh, wo uh, strongly want to avoid this and uh, to have a fresh mind. Uh, uh, so, so, for example, uh, if I will start analyze this engine, I uh, I would be not able uh, analyze knight d2 in Marshall instead of bishop takes d5 during uh, the uh, uh, the walk and uh, okay, I can demonstrate another my analysis uh, today, if you want. Sure. <laughs> so I analyze it today this slide. D4, it takes D4, C3. D takes C3, Knight takes C3, and now Bishop C5. Bishop C5 was played uh, with by Paul Morphy. Paul, Paul Morphy uh, with Black played Bishop C5, and analyze. I analyzed this line before Bishop C4, of course D6, and now uh, th there are two interesting lines. Uh, so Queen B3 is interesting line, but Queen D7, idea Knight E5. Mm -hmm. If Knight D5. Now knight a5 is bad because queen c3 takes, takes, if queen g4 takes, uh, 
And after this, uh, white has even this, and knight f6 with uh, big advantage. But the problem is that uh, instead of knight a5, knight g is uh, here. Knight uh, after knight d5, uh, this is uh, the best way. And black is fine. Uh, the point is that if queen c3, uh, castle, and bishop h6 doesn't work because queen g4. Very so I didn't. Yes, I didn't check the Swiss computer. Okay, that's uh, analyzed from head. Idea if knight g5, bishop takes f2 check. With king f2, queen h4 check. If, uh, if this, something like this, this, this. Okay, but uh, this, uh, this is a. Uh, bad for white. But uh, this I didn't analyze today. But just today what I was analyzing, uh, during work, so without pieces, without computer, so just today I analyzed this slide. So d6, castle, and now black has two ideas. Knight g7 is possible and knight f6. So today I check at knight f6. And my uh, idea was bishop g5, h6, Bishop h4 is possible. If bishop h4, g5, bishop g3, knight h5, complicated position. Mm -hmm. So I analyze this. Queen takes f6, knight d5, queen d8, b4. So this, uh, this position I analyzed it also before, not today. And my conclusion was that white has uh, very good compensation for the pawn. Uh, because uh, if uh, knight takes b4, obviously bad, because uh, losing the piece. Uh, so a bishop takes b4 also bad because after takes takes queen b3 black has trouble with knight or with f7 after d5 e takes d5 rook e1 coming so uh, taking on b4 is not serious so bishop b6 is only move and now a4 and now uh, I was sure that black should play a5 or a6 white will take on b6 with uh, at least enough compensation for the pawn. But uh, today uh, I started to analyze line with knight e5 during the walk. Uh, knight e5 uh, during my walking, knight e5 appeared to my head, and I started to understand what is this because now bishop is attacked, and uh, after a5 knight takes c4 is possible. If a b knight takes b6, so white need to do something. If bishop b3 c6 is possible, and for for example if uh, uh, this, uh, if, uh, for example, this, this, knight b6, a b6, uh, this, this, this end game is better for black because rook d8, rook d4 is coming, or same variation, it's possible, uh, uh, knight b6 immediately, uh, a b, knight e5, d e, Queen takes d8, king takes d8, bishop f7, but now king e7, rook d8 is coming, and because of weakness of a4, b4 pawn, and because of black king is much more active, okay, uh, okay, maybe it's draw, but uh, it's white who need uh, to defend in this endgame not black. So I started to analyze if white has something more interesting. And uh, firstly, I had illusions that I find it. Uh, knight takes e5, d takes e5, queen h5. So knight b6. Uh, uh, so I started to consider it castle. And now queen takes e5 is possible, or knight takes b6 even possible. Because, uh, for example, here rook e8 not possible, because rook a d1 unpleasant. So c6, and now if uh, rook d1, queen f6, or queen g5, Probably white is slightly better, probably drawish. But uh, then I started to analyze another light. So if uh, after um, uh, queen h5, so I was curious, what is, is bishop d4? Very natural move. But firstly, okay, I rejected knight b6 is possible. And uh, so the bishop d4 is not the move. But suddenly, but, but, but then I uh, uh, I uh, uh, continued uh, this uh, line in my head and found something really interesting. So knight b6 looks very strong because f7 is attacked if g6 queen f3. And it looks like uh, white is uh, excellent, but actually castle. After takes, bishop takes a1. After rook takes a1, queen d4. 
two pieces is attacked. And just to be so, sure, all of this you were analyzing in your head during your walk. Yes, yes, in my head during the walk today. <laughs> Crazy. So uh, rook c1 only move and bishop e6 I am playing, attacking the bishop and attacking the knight. After bishop e6, f takes e6, uh, f2 pawn is attacked. So white should defend queen e2 e and rook takes a8, rook takes c7, and now black has pleasant choice. Queen takes b4 is possible, or queen a1, maybe even strong And Queen takes a4, and uh, not so clear if white has draw here. So this is my analysis from today's. Wow. Those so, are some very exciting lines. How do you... So new was uh, so uh, a four I considered before, and uh, my conclusion was that uh, white is totally nice here. But today uh, I uh, during my work uh, knight e five appeared to my head, and I start to analyze, and now I demonstrate uh, variation which I analyzed just today. Incredible. So basically, when you go for a walk. It doesn't, it isn't your idea to analyze a, spe a specific line. It just comes to your head, basically. Yes, yes. I just uh, come in to, to relax, but okay, I see snow, I see trees, and suddenly uh, in, uh, in, uh, uh, some position, uh, and alguna posición en español. <laughs> Wow. Una fugada ap aparece a mi cabeza y yo he pensado a analizar. That is incredible. Uh, Vasil, there are a couple more questions. Uh, my good friend Yosha is asking, uh, I think Yosha was not here at the start of the stream when we talked about MVL, but Yosha would like to know what do you say about, what do you think about Maxime's uh, title today in the World Blitz and do you have any nice words for Maxime? Mm, okay, so my congratulations to him. Uh, this is first title, uh, as I remember. He never have been world champion, nor rapid, nor blitz, nor classic. So excellent uh, achievement. Uh, so I wish him uh, more success in new year. And uh, okay, he is excellent player. Okay, I played many times against him. Uh, very creative. Uh, uh, well prepared theoretically and quite intelligent plan, uh, player as well. So. And Yosha, you were not here, but Vasil had told us he was streaming and he had predicted that. Yes, he... yes. Uh, uh, four, four rounds before the end. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I asked my uh, listeners uh, uh, to show me situation uh, who is leading and okay so uh, uh, they told uh, four or five rounds something like this they told me that uh, Aronian is leading okay so but our, uh, when I uh, appeared Aronian lost uh, three games in a row okay it was not my intention of course but it was happened so Aronian was Dubo uh, Artemiev somebody uh, Duda okay so uh, and uh, I uh, have seen uh, five numbers, and uh, okay, uh, they asked me who will win. Okay, uh, I told Maxim will win, and till the end, okay, uh, if uh, somebody asked me, okay, uh, my prediction Maxim. So I root for Maxim. Incredible. And <laughs> Incredible. Uh, a simpler question: Where was the question? Who was asking? Someone was asking how many languages do you speak? Okay, it depends of which level. Okay, so uh, I can speak. Uh, uh, okay, uh, my native language is Ukraine. Of course, uh, I can uh, speak uh, totally free uh, Russian. And uh, third, uh, if, if foreign language. Okay, uh, I speak quite well Spanish. Uh, okay, English a little bit worse than Spanish, but okay, acceptable. Also, I can speak uh, Turkish and uh, I can speak uh, Czech a little bit. Now, uh, I'm uh, try to learn uh, f f uh, Hungarian language. Oh, wow. Also, I understand some uh, German. Uh, I, I I have speak uh, German. Uh, 
uh, when uh, uh, I was working with uh, Korchnoi, he was uh, excellent. Uh, he was excellent teacher of German for me. But okay, uh, uh, even now I can uh, understand something from German. But uh, I didn't have uh, a lot of uh, practice during last time, so I f forgot many things. So okay, I can uh, to explain something in Polish, or at least I can understand uh, a lot in Polish because it's quite similar to Ukrainian. Incredible. And why Hungarian? Okay, it's uh, such a new, ho new hobby okay. without special explanation. <laughs> very interesting. And Vasil, I will let you go now very soon, but just a final question about uh, we have seen, especially in this World Rapid and Blitz, so many new players. Uh, and I know you are following a lot of these events. So what do you think, who should we keep an eye on? Who has impressed you of the youngsters um, lately? Okay, I don't know. For example, uh, Rapid won Abu Sadorov. Okay, I uh, know about him almost nothing. So it's difficult to say anything concrete. Uh, and, uh, okay, yes. Okay, Duda, Dubov, Artemyev, all of Firuja, all of them are very interesting player. Probably, probably there are somebody else whom uh, I don't remember immediately. Please not think that uh, uh, I forgot by purpose. Okay, so uh, who else uh, is uh, uh, Ah Pragananda? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, many Indians players probably uh, are interested. Okay, uh, uh, but uh, I don't know how good I uh, I know um, each of them. So mm -hmm. it's a big question for me, and because usually I knew better when I prepared against them, and so I need to see games, uh, try to understand opening repertory and uh, and uh, style of play and decide what to do against. But now I'm usually not doing such a uh, work, so. My opinion, it's uh, probably very far from realistic. Do you sometimes uh, work with other players uh, on chess still or online? Uh, during last time, uh, very, very rarely. Mm -hmm. And finally, just before I let you go, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your chess school uh, in Lviv? Okay, we have chess school, but uh, because of pandemia, we are working online. So there are uh, two, uh, there are three coaches, and uh, for more stronger players, I uh, I'm doing uh, online lesson myself. Also. They are very lucky. And finally, one last question from the chat, and then we will let you go. I know it's getting late in Ukraine. Do you have a, a player who inspired you, or do you have a favorite uh, world champion or favorite player? Mm, probably Capablanca was my favorite player from uh, players of the past. Of course, uh, Korchnoi inspired me uh, a lot, yes. Uh, now, okay, now I cannot tell that somebody inspired mm. me. Do you have a favorite player of the ones who are competing at the moment at the top? Is there someone who stands out to you? No, no, no. I'm just following without any... Uh, I'm trying to follow without special em emotions, uh, just with uh, intention to understand objectively what is going on on the board. Vasil, thank you so much. There were some really, really uh, interesting insights and answers. And thank you so much for sharing the game against Gata and also mm. this analysis from the walk today, which was really fascinating. And uh, well, one more time to everyone who is watching us. Vasil is streaming now, so go and follow him. And uh, I guess, Vasil, you have more, plan more streams planned in the future. Yes, 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 I will do it. Okay, so uh, at least uh, uh, I started a stream about March Alohin against Ava 1935, and I did only uh, eight games, but they played uh, 30 games. So <laughs> uh, at least I have uh, 22 games more. 
<laughs> well, that's a, a lot, a lot of content to look forward yes, to. Yes, it's, it's very, but, but uh, very interesting much actually. So uh, it's uh, many ideas uh, I can uh, discover even for myself, and especially with. Uh, uh, possibility to compare with modern theory. I can uh, imagine uh, what Alekhin and Ava could pre prepare uh, for each game, what they uh, could want to avoid, something like this. It's uh, very interesting material, at least for me. I hope for spectators too. Absolutely. I will for sure tune in sometime and it's so great to see you enjoying the streaming world and to to have you on Twitch is such a pleasure. Thank you so much, Vasil, for joining me tonight. It was really an absolute uh, pleasure. And also all the viewers are saying thank you. I think everyone really enjoyed it a lot. So thank you so much. Best of luck with everything with the streaming. And I hope we see you back at the board very soon. Okay, thank you and happy new year for you. All the best for you. Good luck for you in the stream, also in chess board as well. Thank you very much, Vasil. Have a good night and happy new okay. year. Bye bye. Okay, well, that was Vasil Ivanchuk, everyone. Always such a, a pleasure talking to him. He is really. A very, very uh, special person. I, I love him dearly. I'm a big fan. So I'm uh, so happy that he, that he joined us tonight. Thank you so much to everyone who was taking part and asking questions. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it.